to thrive on plot here at the Learning Center. There's a lot of data that we take out of these plots. We collect the insect samples to identify the insects, to count the insects, characterize the reproductive ability of the thrips on the various treatments that we test. The way we do this is, is pretty simple, but I think it's worth, uh, worth showing how we go about collecting some of the data we're going to show you later in the year. This is a simple mason jar with soapy water in it. No more, no less. What we do is pick, is pick out five representative plants per plot. And put them in the jar. After a while, uh, this will be ready to process. It sits a little while, the insects die, of course. In this particular case, we're processing these in the field since this product's at such an early stage and is actually uh, regulated at this point. We don't move the plants around excessively, don't ha excessively if we don't have to. So now we're gonna go up to the processing equipment. I'm gonna show you how we actually collect the insects from the sample after it's ready. So now here we are at our, our homegrown uh, processing facility and you see it's not anything terribly sophisticated. Plants have set an adequate amount of time and we're going to collect the insects from the plants and prepare them to count them inside. So what we do is take a soil sieve, soil screen, this is a hundred mesh soil screen, pour the plants and the solution through the, through the screen. We've got just plain water wash all this out and make sure we collect all the uh, the insects that are actually in the sample. Kind of gently wash each of the uh, each of the plants and get as many of the insects from the off the plants as we can. And what we wind up with is a sample that's collected in the bottom of this sieve. We use ethanol. And we wind up with a sample that looks like that. That's the insects, the dirt, a few unusual things all collected into the bottom of the sieve. We can now take this, put it in a scintillation vial like this, and take it up to the lab and count it at our leisure. There we go, one finished fancy piece of science. So now we'll take this back to the lab, count it under the microscope, identify the thrips, figure out how many adults and immatures are present, whether reproduction is occurring in the plot and at what level.